everyone. Um, hope you're doing well. I thought this was a good time actually to do a follow-up video on um, some of the comments made on my last video and um, explain how I got into an RV and where I'm going and what my intentions are. Um, it all started, for the, so for the last three or five years I've lived in an RV of some sort. Um, so the last three out of five years. <laughs> It started because I was living in Austin and um, my mom got sick and I really they needed my help it was a little overwhelming for my dad and so um, I would I was working as a CPA at the time and I would work busy season and then in the summer I would go be with them so an RV was the easiest way for me to um, have my home with me have Harley with me and also was pretty awesome I mean super small space I love small spaces and um, and I could be on the road and actually see sites at the same time so so I did that for two years where I lived um, I worked in Austin during busy season and then I would go to Oregon during the summer and avoid the Texas heat <laughs> and um, be with my family and be able to help my parents well then other things happened um, in between there I moved out of the RV because I want to be closer to my parents and so um, I uh, anyway fast forward they both got started getting really sick and so I was basically helping them most of the time I was there's, there's more to the story but that's the basic gist um, and then they both passed away last year Oh, after they passed away I didn't know where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do and I thought you know what I'm gonna go back into an RV okay so I figured this um, being an RV would give me time to see my friends and to check out different environments and places I've lived before and see if I felt like they were where I wanted to be now and so I did I spent a few months in California I spent um, three months in Austin just outside of Austin and then um, and I was in Florida for a little bit and then I went up to Pennsylvania for the summer and um, now I'm back here and I in the process was researching areas my dream has always been to create a healing RV park I guess the door shutting <laughs> a healing RV park or campground um, that is more health oriented so instead of catering to snowbirds it's more of catering to people that are trying to get healthy lifestyles or just want to be around healthy people having fun be able to grow my own food I want it to be within the US um, I wanted it to have decent weather however I wanted it to have some sort of season I mean it's a little bit of a stretch but at least you get a freeze or you can wear a jacket it's not like South Florida where that doesn't really happen often um, there's but anyway so so I, I picked this area and I came back down here and this is where I'm at now and um, my original plan was to find some land and just park my RV on it and then start to build it itself but as you guys have been with me and you've seen my processing and wanting to be in the city and be a little more socialized and um, live in a home for a little bit and so um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now but right now I just I really feel the need to create something create something um, that helps people at least helps them give give them options um, I don't really I mean I believe everybody has their own path and their journey but I think um, you know I'm a big freedom person <laughs> freedom I don't want to say freedom fighter because I don't really uh, consider myself a fighter freedom lover <laughs> um, but I feel that the 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 worst situation is one where someone feels they don't have a choice and so I feel really passionate about getting the natural healing message out there for people to have a choice if they hear it and decide that's not for me I'm doing this uh, absolutely more power to them um, but my ultimate goal is to create an RV park which I think would be really fun to share with you guys and I hope that people will stay on board for that even if I move out of an RV um, it would be a temporary move um, while I just did this adjustment for myself so I hope you guys understand that and um, hang in there with me but I also understand that if it's not interesting to you why would you want to <laughs> listen um, so whatever I'm gonna create is gonna be fun that is for certain and um, it would be awesome if it 
morphed into something that was around the country and people could travel about to these really fun RV parks that um, were more health oriented. So a couple things. Saturday I have to move my RV over one spot. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I have to move it over one spot. So it's a big project for one spot. Um, Friday, I have a new friend here in town and she needs help fixing this food for a permaculture event. So I'm going to help her with that. And then she got us tickets, free tickets to the symphony. So I'm going to take pictures and videos of all of this stuff. So there you go. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me and I hope you have a great day.